Well, the reviews are starting to pour in on Rotten Tomatoes, and, uh, well, it's been rather divided. We all know the once reliable reviewers and film critics just kind of lost their luster of late. There's a growing divide between the access media and the actual fans of the product. And nowhere is it more apparent than with the Mario movie. As you can see, the critics give it a rather concerning 54%. It's rotten in their opinion, but the audience is quite liking it. Quite liking it quite a bit, 96%. I said in my review that the movie wasn't perfect. They could have gone with a little more story, but you know, it's just Mario fun. It's just Mario being fun. It's all, it's all awesome. But let's go in and see what, what, what are they saying? What are they saying? This guy, I mean, it's, I'm seeing a lot of freshes here and a lot of splats. I mean, it's quite, it looks like they're quite divided to be honest. The 8-bit world is faithfully reimagined for the modern under 10. Much of this will be slightly dull for anyone else, but it can also feel refreshing when a studio's children movie is squarely made for actual children. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, freaking they love it. I've, I've heard from word of mouth that children are just adoring this film. And it makes sense because it's just Mario doing fun, crazy stuff. Oh, here, here we go. Let's check this one out. The theatrical experience of watching the Super Mario Bros. movie is essentially like playing the game without the inconvenience of actually having to play the game. It comes with all the charm of an unplugged Game Boy. Um, I hate to break it to you, buddy, but um, Game Boys aren't plugged in. That is... That's the point of a Game Boy. It's an unplugged thing. It, it has batteries, for God's sakes. You don't plug it in. That's just, that's just ignorant. That's just stupid, man. You, you gotta do, you gotta do your freaking uh, homework there, buddy. The Super Mario Bros. movie is short, bright, funny, colorful, and should work for all kids of all ages. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. The gorgeous visuals perfectly capture vast video game levels with a sense of grandiose and awe. The jokes aren't half bad either. I, I will agree with that sentiment. Uh, I felt like there was a few gags that actually got me chuckling. I mean, it's not, they're not like high level jokes. It's dumb funny, if anything, but so far this isn't bad. And this is, this is a splatter. Let's see what else he has. But once the film has raced by, the whole spectacle feels empty and safe. IP management at its most careful and bland. I kind of hate to say it, but I think I agree with this. It does feel a little bit empty during the middle, but the point is, it's a fun experience. Sure, it doesn't have the deepest plot, and it doesn't have the deepest characters. It's just Mario fun. Oh man, man, we got, we got a series of splatters here. Let's see. It's all dispiritingly rot. What? Why? Why? Okay. Why? Why do these critics have to do this? Why do they have to act like they're all literary? Like, what is this? It's all dispiritingly wrote. Aside from bursts of weird vitality, whenever the film veers into actions out of the games. Oh man, I, I don't understand why critics do this. I don't. I don't understand it at all. In terms of servicing fans who want more of their Super Mario Bros than they can get at home or in an arcade, the movie gets its job done. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. This isn't a movie. It's a checklist of fan expectations. Where do I even start? Where do I even start? Yes, it's got a lot of fan service. Is that a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. It's supposed to. You know, it, it adds to the experience. I will say, like, there is bad fan service and there's good fan service. And a lot of the fan service in the Mario movie is good fan service. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's all for you to, you know, while your kids are laughing at the stupid funny crap that Mario's doing or Luigi or P or Peach, you're going to be appreciating all the little things, all the little dots of information. Yeah, that's no problem. Why is it a problem? Why would you give it one and a half out of four just because it's too fan servicey? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. 
For all its detailed worlds like the Mushroom Kingdom and Jungle Kingdom, the Nintendo film is just another soulless ploy to sell us merchandise that doesn't bother to disguise its creatively starved greed. Yeah, well, 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 New York Postman. Another soulless ploy. I, I don't feel that this movie is soulless. In my opinion, the story is flat, yes, but there was clearly a lot of effort and passion put into this deep underneath. Or all the voice acting was just mwah. It was perfect. Like, all the voice actors treated all these characters with respect and care. Wow, I, I don't feel that. I don't feel that sentiment, buddy. I, I'm sorry. All right, well, let's, uh... Okay, now that we got the access media out of the way, let's see what actual people are saying about this. Amazing movie, brought, brought me right back to my childhood. I think they meant brought. Bonus, my kids loved it too. My kids loved it too. That's the point. It's a kids movie. It's, it's fun for all ages. Definitely nostalgia. If you like Mario games or if you like video games in general, you'll like this too. Or if you're looking for a good family movie, this is definitely on the list. Agree. Solid agree. Didn't think much of this movie going into it, but as someone that's played all the games, it was pretty good. My five-year-old son enjoyed it too. That. That perfectly sums up my sentiment. It's designed for fans of the games. And it's designed for kids. It is a fun fun Mario film. It's not trying to be crazy or anything. It's not trying to be anything other than just Mario film. That's what I've said. I've said that in my review. Yes, if you like old school video games, this is a must see. I haven't heard, I haven't left that hard in a movie in a long time. It was great, my kids loved it, and it really took me back to my younger days. This is, this exactly encapsulates the difference between the critics and the fans. The fans loved it. Their kids loved it. Everyone is having a good time, except from those assholes in the access media. This is the point. This is what the Mario movie is about. It's a fun, fun Mario experience. I don't give a shit if it has bare bones, nothing plot. It is fun. Mario craziness. All the kids, all the fans love it. Love it. And this is what the this is what the critics don't understand. They're they're trying to look at this from some other perspective, but they just don't get it. Here's one that's kind of medium. Uh it was a decent movie better than previous adaptations of the Mario movie. That's that is accurate. It had some really silly moments that made the experience better. Yeah, see? See? Wish Luigi had more screen time and maybe a Yoshi. Well, um, I feel like Yoshi's gonna get a little more screen time in the next film, and I, I actually do agree. Wish Luigi had more screen time. The, the, he, he was tragically underused, and Charlie Day, fantastic Luigi. Fantastic Luigi. Loved it, so did the kids. Great story and animation. Great move if you're a fan of the Nintendo games. If you're a fan of the games, you will enjoy this. A lot of references to the games and the story is fun. Yes and yes. I know I've been thrashing on the critics, but I understand that they're just trying to pick it apart for what it is. But what they don't understand, it's supposed to be fan servicey. It's supposed to have a fun little story. It's, it's just Mario. And it clearly tells me that a lot of these people aren't Mario fans. I'm not saying under any circumstance that this is just designed for Mario fans. It's a fun family fil flick, you know? I said in my review, if you have kids, you're gonna have a good time because your kids are gonna have a good time. And I personally don't have kids, but as I understand it from some of my siblings who have kids, anytime their kids are happy, they are happy. And I, I'm coming at this as just a purely Mario fan. That's why I enjoyed it. That's why I enjoyed it. That's exactly why these critics don't enjoy it. They probably don't look at it from 
a, like a family friendly ex they don't look at it as like a as a family experience or as a Mario fan experience they're looking at it from a critics experience which I just say sours the water a little bit we, we've got mostly five stars I mean we've got we've got a couple that aren't very good but you know look you got like three and a half five five four four I mean this dude is the lowest. Very disappointed, poor character development and story. I mean, Mario from the Earth? Come on, I'm not trying to be a hater, but this story is very quick. I will agree, the pacing is a little bit frantic at times, and it kind of brings down the story a little bit during the second act, but it's trying to get to the point. It's trying to get to there. The, the Bowser fight. The Mario and Bowser inevitable fight that was mwah, just perfect, perfect. All the fans seem to love it, and all the critics seem to hate it. Why? Because the critics don't understand it. They don't understand it. They're not coming at it as a family film. They're not coming at it at a, as a Mario fan film. They're just, they're just doing whatever. We all know that you don't go to the critics no more for, for actual reviews. Mo this is why the YouTube review community has blown up because everyone knows that a lot of these reviewers, if they're not trying to convey some kind of personal political message, they're just, they're trying to get brownie points to get access. That's why they're called access media. So they have their own motivations and the fans have their own motivations too. But for the most part, the fans experience, I, I'm, this is my personal opinion, but I feel like the fans' ex personal experience supersedes that of the critics. And that, honestly, that's why the divide is so big. But I want to know what you guys think of all of this. Of your personal thoughts on why the critics and the audience are so divided over this. Hit me up in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And... I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.